All right, so next question. Mini test or R spec? I just use R spec. I can't remember. And it's only, it's what I started using first. I can't even think, remember why. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I use R spec as well. And I think that's one of the more popular. I know a lot of people use mini test. I prefer R spec because it's it's more descriptive and it's easier to um to use that as a discussion medium with non-technical stakeholders um they have an easier time following uh that layout than they do the unit test layout um and having I haven't used unit test for a long time, but when I started um, investigating RSpec um, and coming off a of unit test, unit test at that point was faster to run, but for me, RSpec was much faster to write and it made more sense to me. Um, and I've just stuck with it ever since. And it, and it helps me because it becomes good documentation. If I bring a new developer on, um, it's easy to show them our spec output and say, this is what we expect things to do. Um, I've learned systems that way and it's been, that's been a good experience. So let me ask you a question. So this is an off the cuff question. So <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you'll be able to answer it easily, but when you go into a new code base you haven't seen before and you need to get an understanding of the product or the code base and you're going to take a look at the tests what do you look for in the tests or what area of the system do you look at to getting an understanding of how the system works or, or what the tests are doing well for me the way i do it the first thing i do is look at the database structure how is the database laid out? What objects do they have in there? What models do they have? Because that tells me um, how how they're wanting to store their data tells me what they're trying to get from it. So um, the easiest place for me to start is looking at their model tests, assuming they have some. Um, and and I usually do. I usually will test my models. At least to, to show this should be connected to this. This should have this limitation when you're putting in this record, you know, all that kind of stuff. That helps me kind of line up in my head. All right. I understand what data they're trying to get. And so I kind of understand what what it is they're trying to accomplish on the front end. So um, then I start looking at their feature tests. And I'll look at chunks of them, like their login process, because most websites or web apps will have some kind of login. I can look at that and find out, okay, they've got accounts that have multiple users, or it's one user per account, or, you know, how complicated are we going to get with, with user settings? Do they have roles? Do they have, you know, that all that kind of stuff? Then I'll start looking at their major section based on the based on looking at their database, then I can go look at their major feature areas around those objects I've seen in the database. So that's that's kind of how I approach learning a new system. Okay. If you like this clip and want to watch another one, you can click right here, or if you want to watch the full video, you can click here.